check out my new toothbrush I got at my visit to the dentist. It is a good color, and it'll help me keep my teeth healthy. I use my teeth to help me take bites of food and chew it up really well so that I can eat it. But I have to keep them clean to help my teeth stay strong. See? Oh, you're right. My teeth do look different from Sam the Bats. Different animals all have different kinds of teeth. Good for eating different things. My teeth help me eat all kinds of people food, from apples to grilled cheese sandwiches. Sam's teeth are different because many bats eat by catching flying insects out of the air. If you'd like to see me catch a flying insect out of the air using my teeth, you're gonna be waiting a long time. Now that I think about it, I know an animal that had really impressive teeth that probably helped it to catch its food. Meet Smilodon. Smilodon was a group of cats who lived long ago and had giant, amazing teeth. The name Smilodon even means knife tooth. While most of Smilodon teeth were big and pointy like a lion's or a tiger's, Smilodon are known for their incredibly long, top two canine teeth, which could be around 18 centimeters long. That's seven inches of tooth, like two bananas sticking out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, their teeth were so big, many people call them saber-toothed cats because their teeth remind people of a type of curved sword called a saber. And these teeth weren't just for show. Some paleontologists, scientists who study ancient nature, think Smilodon's teeth also help them catch their food. Think about modern day lions or tigers. What do they like to eat? <laughs> You're right, Squeaks. Modern lion and tigers are meat eaters or carnivores. So they hunt other animals or prey to eat. If we look at their teeth, we can see that many of them are very sharp and pointy. Smilodon's teeth look pretty similar perfect for tearing into meat, and paleontologists think that their special saber teeth might have helped them as hunters. Smilodon might have pushed an animal down with its paws and then killed it with one big bite from their long canine teeth. Smilodon were likely ambush predators who snuck up on their prey and then attacked once they got close. So having giant teeth for weapons would have really helped them. It's true that these saber teeth were helpful, but they did have their downsides. The super long canine teeth could be broken, so a Smilodon had to be careful to avoid kicks from prey with strong legs and try to bite only really soft places like a prey animal's belly or neck. And having teeth that long could make eating mm, tricky. So Smilodon had to have mouths that could open extra wide so that they could actually get bites of food into their mouths past those huge teeth. <laughs> exactly, those teeth were helpful, but had some problems that came with them. Those big saber teeth weren't just helpful for these big cats though, they also helped paleontologists. <laughs> no, paleontologists don't have saber teeth squeaks. But teeth are made out of really tough materials that can turn into fossils over time. A fossil is a trace left behind by something that lived long ago. So Smilodon gave us lots of good traces. Teeth fossils have helped lots of scientists to learn about life long ago, including all about Smilodon and other saber-toothed cats. One of the most famous places where paleontologists have found saber-toothed cat fossils is the La Brea Tar Pits in California. They found fossils from thousands of saber-toothed cats there, including lots of teeth. In fact, one kind of saber-toothed cat called Smilodon fetalis is now the state fossil of California. By studying the teeth and other fossils of Smilodon, people have learned so much about what these animals eat, how they hunt it, and even how they lived together. Fossils of Smilodon with long, broken, and healed bones suggest that these cats lived in packs like modern lions. <laughs> oh, how do we know? Think about it. If you broke your teeth and you couldn't eat, you might go hungry unless someone else 
took care of you. So we think Smilodon were sharing food with each other when they couldn't hunt. These sound like some pretty amazing cats, right Squeaks? 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 Whoa! <laughs> oh wow, those are some pretty cool canines. Those make some pretty impressive saber teeth squeaks. Tell you what, I'll go find my old toothbrush and maybe I can make some saber teeth of my own. Do you wonder about animals from long ago like Smilodon? Be sure to click subscribe to keep learning more about ancient animals, cool body parts like saber teeth, and more with Squeaks and Me. We'll see you next time here at the fort.